Next Friday is going to be our pep rally for our first San Marcos basketball game. So we're going to be having a spirit week leading up to the pep rally. Monday is crazy soft day, so wear your craziest socks. Tuesday is mathletes versus athletes. So... Wednesday is Scrabble day, so you and a group of friends will each be a letter to spell out a word like this. <laughs> Thursday is dynamic duo day, so dress up as your favorite dynamic duo. Like Batman and Robin. Patrick and Spongebob. Friday is class color day. So freshmen are gonna wear orange, sophomores wear teal, juniors wear purple, and seniors wear army green. If you don't have any of those colors, you can go and buy your uh, class shirt, and the freshmen and sophomores can buy them at the den, or the juniors and seniors can buy them at the finals office. For $10, and they're a really nice shirt, I promise you. Um, word. Hey Grizzlies, we're part of the special events crew and we're here to talk to you about our winter dance. So tickets will go on sale January 23rd to the 27th. It'll be $10 ASB, $15 without. The next two weeks after, it'll be $15 with ASB, $20 without. And it's called Backwards Blacklight because it's a really informal dance. Tickets are cheaper and like clothing wise, you don't really need to dress up. And like, you don't need a date to go to this dance, like, go solo, you don't need to ask anybody, and yeah. So girls, forget about your dresses, forget about your makeup, <laughs> and guys, don't worry about those dress shirts, all you have to do is come in white or neon, because it is a black light dance, so we're going to be super casual and super chill about it. Now here's our group and family, brought to you by Zach. Let's watch. My name is Mr. Getman, Craig Getman, and I teach mathematics here at Mission Hills. I think it would be a lie to say that I've never been affected by the way people think of me. I hope that I've gotten better at that over time, but still, the way that, for example, your peers might the teachers I work with, my friends, of course, that can, that can definitely affect the way that a person feels and reacts. I mean, that's just being human. that in my life right now that are very challenging but compared to friends of mine their challenges are much greater in what they have to do I think I hit rock bottom the day that the doctor told me five years ago that I had cancer I remember the moment the anesthesiologist the doctor that gives you the knockout gas um, and I remember looking up at him and thinking to myself what if this is the last thing I ever see? Many of the things that I had been interested in, and it all, and I had always had the thought of, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next month, I'll do it next year, I'll travel here, I'll do this. You begin to realize that you're mortal, and that life is very fleeting. And for me, it changed my life completely. And I think the thing it gave me most of is peace at work. It made me realize that this is the place where I heal best. I love what I do. I love being here at Mission Hills. I can't think of any other job that I would rather do. I had surgery on the last day of June, and at that time, school started. 
mid-August. We're talking six weeks. So four weeks into my recovery, there was no way I thought I was ever going to be starting the school year or if I was ever going to return to school. And there I was on the first day of school in the 2011-2012 year teaching in this room, room 750. And for me, probably the most difficult thing I have ever done in my entire life. And a lot of it came from the will to want to come back to work. And that's what happened. And I'm very proud of that. So even from the deepest, most darkest places, there is a tunnel of light that can get you back to a life where you have hope and good things can happen.